Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. We're about to do a quick walkthrough of the Beta 3 from Titan of uh, Android Ice Cream Sandwich or Android 4.0 running on the HTC HD2. Gotta love this song. So versatile. Alright, so let's get into this. First of all, you'll notice the new unlock screen is like of uh, that on Honeycomb if you've played with a tablet or anything with Honeycomb on it. The camera's over here which does not work right now. And unlock. Uh, of course no face unlock option which you probably know is coming because no front facing camera. But anyways, um, haven't made a video for a few days on this. I've been running different versions of it. There are three main developers working on it right now. The first and foremost I would say is Titan because he's doing most of the hard work. Uh, Sportstar 89 is the version I've actually been using for a while and I've also tried Mitchy, I guess is his name's version. Uh, first of all let me say Sportstar is kind of getting some flack from other people saying he's doing none of the work but in my experience when Titan fell behind for a few days which I guess is because he was working on the kernel not the ROM itself um, Sportstar was the m most working version that I had. I, maybe it wasn't the same for everybody, but for me it was. Uh, so new stuff in Beta 3 from Titan, which is what this is now. Uh, the XDA post to be listed in the links below, of course. Um, new in this version, live wallpapers finally. As you can see, I've been waiting for that. I'm a live wallpaper junkie, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, what isn't working is the camera. The USB mass storage and video on YouTube, the app, isn't working for some reason. Uh, besides that, everything's working fairly well. As you may notice or may not, the uh, my Wi-Fi is on, if my camera will focus. But the uh, app, the, uh, the, if I can, the icon in the corner, the indicator, <laughs> sorry, a little tongue-tied, isn't actually uh, working right. It works for the bars if I have my SIM card in, but not for the uh, Wi-Fi for some reason. Um, battery life on this is a little less than gingerbread ROMs, to be honest, or at least the gingerbread ROMs I've been running. But uh, all in all, decent battery life. It runs well. Uh, some new cues you can see. The remove is at the top now, much like in Cyanogen. Uh, the Google bar is always at the top now. Uh, folders is a huge thing on here. This is very neat. Where I can just drop an icon on top of another and it'll automatically give me a folder. Let's see if I can get this in a little better focus here. It'll give me a folder and then all I have to do is click it and I can choose what's inside. Now performance is slightly lagging on this, I must admit, even now that hardware acceleration is in. Um, which Angry Birds can even be slow on my other phone, which is overclocked to like 1.2 and it's a newer phone. So no hate really, it's just I think think it can run better I'll give you a little demo here stuff with high graphics seems to lag a little bit sorry for the light I'm still trying to get the lighting right in this room <laughs> I'm slacking I'm sorry but I'll uh, see a little better just a slight lag nothing bad I mean it doesn't make it unplayable uh, and can knock down which is another kind of uh, not high graphic but kind of graphic heavy I guess you would say game it's a little laggy but a far improvement over the first few versions uh, the first few versions I mean it was pretty horrid because hardware acceleration wasn't working uh, let's see as you can see runs fairly smooth definitely nothing to keep you from using it I mean if you're using an HD2 at this point you already know it's kinda of slow <laughs> good hardware but older uh, see camera doesn't connect uh, there is a, if you're using Titans, there's a mag loader and a CLK version. Uh, you can also have the soft buttons at the bottom. It's just another framework you have to flash. I didn't. Uh, widgets now, you no longer hold onto the screen to get them. That just brings you wallpapers. What you do is you go into your app drawer, and in here you'll see a widgets tab, and you will also see the market. But going back, you'll notice that they are and a page layout display now and if you go to the end of your apps it takes you to widgets and uh, the widgets are resizable have to hold click and move and there we go works a lot like honeycomb if you're familiar with honeycomb at all uh, let's not go back I didn't mean to do that but what I want to show you is widgets are resizable now 
Gives you these little diamonds where you can pull down and expand. So nice, of course, not all widgets are uh, sizable yet. Um, everything works pretty standard on here, it works pretty well. The web browser is a great improvement in my opinion. I've seen better performance out of it than any other time I've used the web browser. Uh, market works well. New market, I hated it at first, but I really like it now. Uh, not a lot more to say about this right now. I just want to give you guys a quick walkthrough. The reason I'm not using it as a daily driver, I like to watch YouTube on my phone. But besides that, um, there's no flash right now for Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, should be coming by the end of the year, hopefully. But that's not the developer's fault. That's Adobe's fault. Giving up on us like that. No, <laughs> it's uh, They say it's coming. It's just not out yet. Uh, and also, I don't use the camera a lot on my phone. But I like it there if I need it. So that's why I'm not using this as a daily driver. The USB mass storage problem doesn't bother me right now. I pop my SD card out, no problems. Uh, the gallery is supposed to be fixed in this version, but yeah, it looks like it is. It was a little buggy in the fa past few versions. Uh, Beta 3 is running really well. They're doing some great work on it. Um, the camera seems to be where they're having the most trouble. And uh, the slight lag in some of the games and stuff, I hope when they get the YouTube video fixed that it also fixes some of that lag because I believe it's probably um, something with the video driver on it. I mean, it's... It's just, you got to think this was developed on a Samsung phone, so to get it to an old HD2 phone like this is something else. Uh, as you'll notice, regular backgrounds don't slide like they should either. It's just a few little things like that, nothing bad, nothing to keep you from using this as your daily driver. Uh, when they get that camera working, it actually has Movie Studio built in now too. Can't wait to try that out. Uh, Google Plus is really integrated into it. Uh, the menu settings are a little different. Oh, let me show you because you will actually have a key if you use the soft keys. Uh, pull down bar. There's your options now. Uh, a lot better place for it if you ask me. I would like to see some shortcuts to some important stuff. But all in all, nice. Uh, my feeling about Ice Cream Sandwich, I can't wait to get a phone that actually has it from the factory or get it flashed to this one fully working. Uh, because it seems really nice. Uh, notifications now you can fling to throw away. Uh, with now soft keys, you don't have the multitask button. And holding home doesn't do the trick. Neither does holding menu. <laughs> See if holding back does. No. Sorry, a little oversight on my part. Uh, so I can't show you the multitasking, but uh, if you've seen the demos, it's just a bar that comes up, shows you everything you've been running, and you can flick it to throw it away which means close all processes so no use for task killers anymore uh, I'll do another video when they do a full version of this one uh, when it gets out of beta uh, I just want to give you guys a quick walkthrough and tell you that you know if you wanted to try it out go for it no reason not to it runs well enough to be a daily driver as long as you don't mind the YouTube and camera and the lack of flash <laughs> um, Everything else is good. Uh, it's relatively quick. Uh, it's really fun to play around with just to see where Android's going. It's a lot more polished Android than I'm used to seeing. Um, it looks like a professional operating system now, I must say, instead of a, you know, kind of thrown together kind of. I don't know how to describe it before, but it, it did never really feel finished. That is the one advantage that iOS had on Android and I think they're actually losing that because Android is now very versatile and very polished this is a nice operating system there are little things I don't like about it but uh, I'm sure all of those CyanogenMod will fix and CyanogenMod 9 which uh, keep an eye out because it's actually an alpha on the Nexus S and a couple other devices already CyanogenMod's team wastes no time so uh, keep an eye out for some upcoming videos on this and other devices. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Leaks to this ROM, the other ROMs, and uh, my Twitter account will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to me. Thanks, guys.